Much. We're back here with Foxy, and she is continuing to paint our pet portrait. This is Millie, our pet winner. We had several submissions. So where are we at right now, Foxy? We are in the process of doing a wash over the nose, and that's because I blocked in where the nostrils were with mm -hmm. the gray to give me kind of a, an idea where it was. And now I'm going to bring those highlights back in. This is just how we blend things all back together again. When you look at this picture, this is the hardest part, I think, when painting. How do you decide what colors you're using where? Uh, a lot of it is just kind of experience, um, messing around with things, <laughs> getting it as close as possible. Um, there, there really isn't much of a replacement for experience. Sure. Um, so, I mean, my, my advice for anyone who wants to get into painting is just start, you know, simple and be brave. You know, let it, let it go wrong and learn from it. I've learned a lot from mistakes. Sure. And so, how much more do we have left here? Because it looks good, in my opinion. <laughs> right here. So this that part. Yep. If we can see, can you guys see it okay? Yeah. So this area right here where we see that gray, you'll yep. finish that up here today. Yep, I'm hoping. Okay, <laughs> yes. We'll see if I estimated this right. <laughs> yeah. And this is Millie. Again, she is our winner. We are so happy that Millie was chosen. She's a Newfoundland. And I spoke with Margaret, I believe her owner today, and she was so excited. She was su surprised that Millie was our winner today. But she's but so she photogenic. Will be, she will be gifted this beautiful pet portrait. When you get folks that want a pet portrait, is it typically pets that have passed away? Or, or a mix of pets Both. that have passed away and some that are Both. still some around. Some want to preserve that puppyhood. They yeah. have a puppy picture sure. and they want that, that puppy picture painted. I had a client who had me paint her puppies, uh, her dachshund puppies, and then the adults. So it was two different portraits. Sure. Okay. And these are some pictures that we're looking at right now. This was the process because Foxy started the painting before she came in today. So she will finish it. Today, our pet portrait. One tip for, you already mentioned, um, practice makes perfect for painting. Get started. Just exploration, too. Yeah. Try something new. You mentioned you're not mixing on a palette. You're mixing nope. on the, I'm actually blending mixing, over here. I'm blending right on, to, on the piece. It's not a technique you'll see a lot of artists do. Um, I do it mainly just to save on paint. Okay, that's, that's smart, that's smart. Nothing dries on a palette if you don't yeah, use a palette. Right. Okay, well we will let you continue. Who's this, by the way? That is uh, Presto, that is my rescue border collie. Okay. <laughs> and he's still with me. He is, okay. He's the one that had the paw coming out of the bedroom door. Sure, when, when I visited. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, well you know, you you and Presto could watch the movies and then get a thousand dollars, right? Uh, well, and, and, and Phoenix and, uh, oh, and, all and Aries guys. could join yeah. too. Yeah, all your all They're your all pets. rescues too. <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, Foxy, thank you so much for being here. We'll let you continue to paint Millie here and we'll check in with you again shortly. All right.